we'll push accept right there. That'll start loading up. Go ahead and put map in. So that's getting set up there. We're good on our transponder, our radios. So let's go ahead. And since we're just talking with her here, it's a good way to practice our radios. Okay, so I want you to say Griffith Unicom. Okay, so Griffith and Unicom. Griffith Unicom. This is Cessna 260 Sierra Quebec. Okay, so just read it out. 260 Sierra Quebec. Radio check, please. When she comes and says loud and clear, then go ahead and say thank you, and that's it. Okay. So we'll just press this button. Yes, sir. Griffith Unicom. This is. Cessna 260 Sierra Quebec, radio check. Aircraft doing a radio check at Griffith, guard 568 has you on a clear. Thank you. Thank you. Not too often you see a couple military helicopters doing maneuvers around Griffith. They're back there, they landed back there in those. Griffith traffic, helicopter 964, is departing runway 8. With a left turn out uh, north or west north westbound, negative ETR Griffith. Okay. All good. Good. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, do it. Griffith traffic. This is Cessna 260 Sierra Quebec, departing runway eight Griffith. Clear on the left. Clear on the right. So we're good there. Line right up to the center of the runway. One hand there, full throttle. Full power. There we go, and we just keep it right in the center of the runway. Full power, keep one hand on the throttle, one hand on the uh, yoke. Airspeed's coming alive, that's good. Keep it in the center. We're at 50, so we can go ahead and lift that nose wheel slightly. We are airborne, so we can go ahead and lower the nose down to about 70, 75. Keep that power full in. And climbing out. A little bit more right rudder pedal. We're fighting that. There we go. Now keep those wings level. There, right there. There we go. A little bit more right rudder pedal still. There we go. That'll help if you keep those wings level and put the right rudder pedal in. Gotcha. Once we get to about 1200, we'll go ahead and turn out to the south. Air 1486 X ray, department only. Hey, Griffith. And where are you headed today, Dave? Just in the area. All right, we're going to be doing some air work just uh, around the Cedar Lake area. All right. And Griffith traffic, this is us in a 260 Sierra Quebec, departing the pattern to the south. Griffith. And let's go ahead and climb up to 3,000. Look at the city. Doesn't it look pretty today? Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. So, I've got the airplane. You and got the airplane? Uh, see with this, how it's yanking your nose down? That's what we have this trim for. So, when you have the airplane, you go ahead and uh, see how now it's not yanking it down. We trim it so that it flies pretty much at the altitude we want it, see? So we're not getting any pressure. If you're getting a pull down or you're getting a pull up, just adjust that trim and that'll help you so you're not having to work that whole time. That whole time you've been working to keep the nose yeah. of the airplane up. So you're sitting over there like, oh, this is not comfortable. Whereas now, look it, we're all good because, see there? Right here, we're at about 70. Car repeats out, put in 10 degrees of flaps. Looking good on our traffic wise. We're staying, holding it at 3,000. Put in our 20 degrees of flaps here. 
hear that stall warning horn? You get the buffet of the airplane on the controls. It's kind of hard to feel the buffet, and the power nose comes down and power comes in simultaneously. Then, once we get the airspeed back, then we're going to go ahead and bring in 10 degrees of flaps, and then another 10 degrees once we're up at 70 once again. And then we'll go ahead and pitch for our climb to get it back up. But don't pitch too soon, or else you're going to end up with... Uh, with a secondary stall, which you don't want because you're getting lower and lower. You see how you lose altitude in each one of those stalls? Yeah. Okay? Now what we're going to do, we got the airplane all cleaned up, our power is off, uh, flaps up, car repeats in and everything. I'm going to go ahead and turn to a north heading, do another quick clearing turn just to make sure we're all kosher here. No other traffic has crept underneath of us or anything. All right. And we're going to do a power on stall. Okay, so we're coming in like as if we we're taking off, so we're at 70 right now, and we're going to go ahead and bring the power in, and the nose comes up. Make sure during this that you stay very coordinated, all right? All right. You hear the stall warning? It goes there, and our nose comes down. We recover, get our airspeed back, and then once we get our airspeed back, we'll go to 3,000. All right, I know that made you feel a little nervous because oh, you yeah. see some of the airplane go up really high. Okay, that's why power on stalls are one of the most difficult things for students to learn. And if you're feeling very uncomfortable, we can always do them another day too. Okay, so I'm going to do one more for us. And the, 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 the big thing when doing these, don't build up a lot of airspeed. Some guys will be flying along at 100 or something or at 90 and they'll whip themselves up into it and the airplane is nearly standing up on its nose. Jesus. Okay, so we're, set, we're, we're going to simulate it like we're taking off. We don't take off at 100, right? We're taking off at about 70, 75 usually. So we're at 70 right now, okay? And then we add that full power in and nose coming up. Calm, we get the stall warning, get the buffet of the controls, the nose comes down, and we're back at our 3,000, okay? Go ahead and bring the RPMs back to about uh, right in there, and then hold it at 3,000. Okay, we can go ahead and bring 10 degrees of flaps on. Now bring 20. Car repeat's coming out. All right, hold your 3,000 now. Just hold your 3,000. See that stall warning going off? We're at 40, go ahead and recover now. Bottle forward, yoke forward, just like that. See, you put yourself right on the horizon, your airspeed's coming alive, car repeats in. Now 10 degrees of flaps. Oh. Yep, 10 degrees, there we go. Now let it climb, we're about 65. Now we can go ahead and bring it up to zero. There, that was much better. Now, once we're set there, go ahead and climb back up to your original altitude. What you don't want to do is lose your heading during that though. That one time you start drifting off there to the west, keep it right at a southerly heading, okay? Got it. All right, good job with that. Let's bring the power back to about 1,500 on the RPMs so we don't get a lot of speed here. Clearing the right, clearing the left here. All right, let's go ahead and go into a power on stall. Full power and nose up. Nose up, nose up, nose up. Don't build up a bunch of airspeed. Nose coming up quick. Once you hear that stall warning horn go off, nose down. The wings level. There we go. Recover. Nose down, nose down. There we go. Good. Right on the horizon. Okay. Right on the horizon. Gotcha. Yep. And let's keep it going south here. Stay on your heading. Okay. Reduce the power now that we got our airspeed. And let's get back down to our altitude. Bring in 20. And what we want to do is we're going to keep it right above the stall. So if you hear the stall warning horn go off, that means just add a little bit of power. Now I want you to keep your altitude here. So hear the stall warning? We can actually climb in slow flight too. See? we got to bring in the power though. Let's keep it at 3,000. We're in a descent. So we don't want to descend. But hear that? Hear the stall warning? So I'm keeping it. We're flying ourselves at about 50 is what we're doing. Okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and bring in 30 degrees of flaps and see how slow we can fly it. Now we can fly the airplane with 30 degrees of flaps at about uh, 44 right now. See that? Okay. And then we're at 3,000. So now we're straight and level so we can actually reduce the power and still hold it. So we're right on the edge of stall. See how the airplane feels? Feels a little mushy. 
right on the edge of stall. Okay, now at 3,000, we're going to roll into a turn. But what's going to happen when we roll into that turn? Lose air. You're the stall warning. So I'm going to actually have to add just a slight amount of power so we don't hear that stall warning to go into that turn. Feel it buffing in a little bit. All right, so we're flying at about 45 right there. Now we're on a north heading. Reduce that power back because we're not in the turn anymore. Because see, now we're going faster. So we reduce that power back, keeping it at, keeping it at 3,000. Okay, now we're down to about 43, and we can fly it. Had to add a little bit of that power now to keep it right at 3,000. Right there. All right. Now, we really don't have very much winds up here at all, so it's pretty calm. But uh, usually the wind will have a factor on your turns because it's either going to want to push you, uh, what part of the turn you're in, it's either going to want to push you down, you'll get that drop, and then some getting all that lift because you're going into the wind, so it's wanting to give you more lift. But we're pretty calm today, so we don't have very many of those factors. But we're at 3,000. We're going to go ahead and just roll into a steep turn here. And we're looking just the same as any other turn. We're looking out at the horizon, and we're wanting to keep it in there. So, and we're watching our airspeed so we don't get too slow. Okay, so you notice how I had to add that power in? Yeah. Got that left rudder pedal in, and we're just coming right around in a nice deep turn, keeping it right at 3,000. Okay. And coming right from there, and rolling right into one to the right. Okay, so switching from pushing on the left rudder pedal to pushing in on the... Uh, our turn the left rudder pedal to switching in on the right rudder pedal. Okay, and we're just keeping it right there on the horizon. See how it's locked in on the horizon? It's coming right across, around. So we're doing good on that. It wanted to dip a little bit there, so I had to correct for that. And then coming in on our east heading, right at 3,000. So we're at 3,000 on our heading there. And I can go ahead and now that I'm out of the steep turn, I can reduce some power so I don't get a big gain in airspeed and so on. Got it. Okay, so see how I had to add that power in while we were in the turn to the left and to the right? Okay, and then once I came out of it, on our heading at our altitude. So I came in at our airspeed that we started at. I came out at our altitude that we started at, and I come out at the heading that I originally started at. So that's what I want you to do. One to the uh, left, and then one to the right. Okay, it's your airplane, and I'm just riding along here. And this guy should be right up in here. Got it. Go ahead and roll into one to the left, one to the right. All right. There we go. Doing good. Keep it going in there. Add a little bit more uh, power in there. You hear the stall warning horn sort of going off there. There we go. Then start rolling out of it. There we go. And then roll right into the other one. Man, that was a good one. Okay. Coming right around. Nose down a little bit. There we go. more back pressure. There we go. Keep it on the horizon. Try to keep it, keep outside the airplane as much as possible. I think you're staring in at the instruments quite yeah, a bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, that's my problem. Yep, you're staring in at the instruments and I'll throw you off every time. Yep. Okay. Pretty good, man. All right, let's head back to the airport. I think it's pretty neat where we can get to fly right around the Chicago area. There's so much to see around here. Never gets old. Yeah. All right, do you know where Griffith is from here? Yeah, I don't see those water towers yet. Okay, those big white barrels there. See where the city is there to right. our uh, to our west? Come a little bit to the right of those, and you see the big yeah, white okay, barrels. All right, now. so let's go ahead and start heading towards those. Yeah, I meant And we barrel. can go ahead and descend down to 2,000. Crazy once you get below that uh, haze level. Now the buildings are starting to disappear into the haze. Yeah. Notice when we were up at 3,000, how uh, how you can see the tops of the buildings. Yeah. Now they're starting to disappear into the haze. Crazy, eh? Yeah. Go ahead and bring your landing light on since we do have all this smog and haze around the airport. Once we're within about five nautical miles of the airport, it's always good to have it on. Five to ten nautical miles, really. So then the airplane can see us a little easier. Griffith traffic, this is Cessna 260, Sierra, Sierra Quebec, turning base for runway 8, Griffith. And we're looking for traffic here that could be cutting along in here and doing a straight final in. So we'll make sure that we're clear that way. And watching our airspeed, remember, because we remember what happens when we're not watching our airspeed. 
from those stalls in slow flight, right? Right. We drop, but we don't have the altitude to get a drop right now, right? Right, right. Right? So 20 degrees of flaps coming in, and we're turning our final. Griffith traffic, this is Cessna 260, Sierra Quebec, turn to final, runway 8, Griffith. Looking to the right there, we're good there. And then look it, there's our number right there that we're shooting for. Okay. Got it. So we're coming right in on our number. And we got a little bit of wind out of the uh, north pushing us. And starting our descent down and in. Yeah, that number's not moving. Number Tomahawk 2529 yeah. Delta. That's what we want. Mid field downwind, departing to the west. Chumber. See how that's our aim point right there, the numbers? Yeah. We're coming down on our aim point, and then we're going to land just beyond our aim point, though. Okay? They're so coming in, and now there goes our aim point. We're going to go see that. Bye-bye. Okay? And then keep the longitudinal axis of the aircraft paralleling the runway. In this case, a little bit left wing down into the wind, and then touching down. Obviously holding a little bit of right rudder pedal in as well. Now we're going to do a follow-through. We're getting that wind out of the north, and notice how I'm increasing my control into that wind okay so that we don't get scooched along off the runway right okay right. we want to keep it right in the center so we don't want to get it blown to the side so we hold that right in there okay okay and just like that and then car heat's coming in flaps are coming up apply just a little bit of brakes here to make this turn Traffic, this is Cessna 260, Sierra Quebec, clear runway 8, Griffith. And it looks like we got our 172 back. All right, I'll let you go ahead and do the shutdown. Electronics all off, landing lights off, taxi light off, nav light on, off. We'll have the beacon on. Go ahead and shut our radios off.